Kilo Delta 6 Golf Delta Bravo. Hey, I got to watch the flipper get used today. Oh yeah, did uh, your boy show show you how to do the Rogue update and stuff? You can you can have Rogue Master, uh, um, the Dark Flipper firmwares. You can have them all saved in the SD card, and you could update the ROM uh, and change them back and forth. Uh, what's your what was your experience there? <laughs> Satisfactory, dude. I've looked at the world a whole different way, Jeff, uh, since having the Flipper. I I look at things. So different now. So, uh, what, there's a machine, and, uh, what, it uses a card, and then the card logs data into it, and then you turn in the card when you're done to get charged? Oh, well, that re that requires writing hex data, though, right? Hey, uh, I don't know if you're cool with it or not, but, uh, maybe give your, your boy, uh, my email address or something. We might be able to exchange some information. Yeah, yeah, pr you know, uh... Opposite of what uh, people may think about me out here, I'm actually kind of clever sometimes, once in a while. But yeah, if he, if he wants to rap about the flipper and exploits and stuff, uh, yeah, man, I, I would. I, I'm interested to talk to people that are using their flipper in applicable uh, situations. Yeah, so it's called bad USB on the flipper, and basically you can connect a USB C to a USB A into your uh, laptop, computer, anything. And uh, basically, it takes it over like it's very little protection on the USB port, so it, it acts just like a keyboard. And you can do commands, command C, command whatever, and you can open a script. You can type uh, run this. You could send DOS commands. Basically, you could do basically anything. Uh, and you could uh, there's a lot of them. They're scripts, and they're basically scripts that tell it everything to do and how much time to wait between each one. And there's some that open up Pornhub, turn the volume to maximum, play some certain porn video, lock the screen, lock the keyboard. Uh, there's ones that do gay porn and lock the screen, lock the keyboard, turn the volume up. There's ones that collect all your passwords for Chrome. There's ones that collect all your passwords for Firefox. Um, I think the mouse jack attack is much more impressive. So uh, using an NRF24... Uh, uh, hat. The hats are the the, the GPIO uh, boards you plug in on the top, and uh, I built my own NRF24 hat on a PC board. I ordered the proper PC board size so I could solder my own thing, and uh, it uses a uh, Bluetooth, and it can hack into uh, certain brands of mice, Dell, Logitech, uh, like two or three others, and certain of, of those mics are uh, mice are vulnerable keyboards and mice, and uh, basically you can jack their uh, passcode and signal and you can act like a second keyboard into their stuff and you could do that rubber ducky attack. The rubber ducky attack is basically plugging something into USB and uh, it can run code and run commands. But uh, if you have an NRF24 uh, uh, hat on your uh, flippy, you can uh, connect to someone's mouse remotely through 10, 20 feet away and you can inject a rubber duck attack. I never wanted to do it on anybody, like, you know, I I never wanted to do it on anybody that was vulnerable, so I, I bought all these different brands of mice and keyboards just to test it, and it, it works pretty good. Yeah, email me, goddamn bastard. We could have something to talk about. You heard what I said, right? I've been, uh, I've been doing electronic engineering for 15 years now. But, uh, Seven, eight years, almost eight years at a company that did uh, RF uh, telemetry, satellite data telemetry switching equipment for the government. Learned a lot there about spectrum analyzers, network analyzers, third order intercept, P1DB, all that stuff. And then uh, the last uh, six, seven years, I've been working at a company that builds uh, servo motor drives. So I've had a lot of experience in this type of stuff. I'm curious how your boy uh, edited that NRF script because uh, uh, it's it's encoded in hex, so he would have needed to either build a program or it might be some standard that he already. I'd be really interested to see which program he how he did that because usually when you read those uh, near field communication chips, you need to put the SD card on your computer. Did, did he use the flipper alone? He didn't use a computer or anything. Flipper's a fucking dolphin. Okay.